Alright, what's up my single chats? How y'all doing, man? How, how a single chat like you is doing today, man? I heard that you have been kicking ass, man. Yup, there are rumors going around. There are rumors saying that you are kicking ass. Make sure you kick that like button, subscribe if you're brand Bruh. new. And guys, I wanna dive right into the story, okay? Because this is what's happening. Let's go for three likes on the video. A lot of people are mad. A lot of people are mad. This is gonna be a banger video, you guys. You you guys are not ready, okay? You guys are not ready. Let, let's get into it because Bloomberg reported that Modern Warfare 3 story was initially was supposed to be a small scale Modern Warfare story set in Megigo. Hola, que me estas amigos. Uh, me gusta the like button. See? Sí. But in summer last year, Bruh. Activision executives rebooted the entire story to be a direct sequel to Modern Warfare 2. Funny enough, you know, to add more salt on the wood, these twins, or I should say, you know, Sledgehammer Games, they were looking to make Advanced Warfare 2. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They were looking to make Advanced Warfare 2, but I, I feel like that they, they perhaps saw a video from Blame Truth wearing that retard helmet, and Activision was like, okay, bro, if Blame Truth can promote that scam, we can also promote that scam. You feel oh. what I'm saying? But check this out, okay? We love the homie Blame Truth, but I wanna show you the video as well. Bloomberg reports that Sledgehammer My Balls. <laughs> team initially pitched their next Call of Duty title to be set in the advanced warfare world after they finished Van Garbage. Bruh, like, come on, man. Bro, in Urdu, I'm like, so, yaar, kutte de ho, bachyo, yaar, in pench, wo gana, saalo ko PT master lagao, in khoti school mein bharti ko, wapis na hai saale, baghairati ye intiha hoogi, baghairat, ek dam ke chutia, mar ge, khatam ho ge, beda gharak kar diya in logo ne. Ladies and gentlemen, but Activision told them Bruh. that they were working on new Modern Warfare for 2023. I mean, okay, okay, and this is where, guys, it goes deep, okay, everybody, okay, y'all singers gotta clench your butt cheeks, guys, gather on, okay, everybody gather on, okay, gather on, gather on, gather on. New Bloomberg report says that. Sledgehammer my ball staff was frustrated with Modern Warfare 3's development because they had to run decisions by Infinity Tards leadership who took a while to respond to feedback and even step into making their own changes. Oh shit! Oh, shit. That's what Bloomberg responded. Then Skizzalex on Twitter says that IW shouldn't make any more Call of Duty games. Then you have Sledgehammer versus Infinity War. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, cannot throw that on YouTube. IW needs to get on Call of Duty. IW needs to get fired for real. IW shouldn't be in charge of multiplayer ever again. And I thought IW couldn't get worse. I genuinely hope that IW isn't allowed to control or uh, uh, isn't allowed control of anything going forward. That studio needs new leadership. Bro, like in Spanish, you're gonna PT Master Lego. Like the video if you agree. Even if you did not understand, guys, you gotta smash that like button. And this is what happens real quick after the fact, okay? I gotta show you a video, guys. Stick around. Sledgehammer Games responds to Bloomberg's new story, okay? Oh, shit. New story! And statement from Aaron ha Hallen, studio head SSG, uh, Sledgehammer Games, says that we are incredibly proud of Modern Warfare 3. There we go, boys. Bumbaka! There we go. Yep, incredibly proud of three hours campaign. Unimpressive. 16 multiplayer maps coming from Modern Warfare 2019. These suckers didn't even work on anything. Zombies literally have no map. They only worked on the war zone. But I do have to agree that the, 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 the multiplayer gameplay is kind of fire. But these suckers are denying the report. These suckers denying. And we're talking about, guys, we're talking about Bloomberg who recently just came out. And this, they recently leaked the GTA 6 trailer though. You feel what I'm saying? And they leaked it right before Rockstar confirmed it. We all know that's true. We're talking about Bloomberg, guys. And uh, let's check out some uh, sweet, sweet cries of the homie Blink Truth. Let's, let's get into it, man. Blink Truth here, the Godfather himself, the bringing homie, you man. another video. If you guys can, please rate this video because yeah. this is going to be like a different video, style like of first impressions video. I can't be any more candid. I can't be any more real with you with this first impressions. Oh, wow. This is totally different than what I usually do. I usually just pick a random gameplay and talk about what I like and what I don't like. I want to show you the moment I boot up the game until the moment I turn it off, okay? First and foremost. Uh, okay. Secondly, I want to cover the fact that I said I wouldn't buy this game this year. I don't yeah. think it's worth $70. I don't think anyone 
but, you... but you still went ahead and you bought it, right? Guys, this is the first time I skipped on it. Have you bought it? One, if you purchased, two, if you did not. And it's perfectly fine if you purchased. At the end of the day, it's just a game. But I mean, damn, right? Like, like, come on, guys. Like, at least one one new zombies map. Man. Okay, one new multiplayer map at launch. Y'all suckers are saying that we're going to get three maps later on. But like, damn, man. Y'all suckers got 3,000 devs in three years. It feels like that this game is having underdeveloped content, but overdeveloped bundles like the video if you agree, man. Buy this game this year because it's literally a $70 patch. I wouldn't even call it a DLC, really. It's yeah, not. It's, a, it's, patch, it's, it's a, patch. a bunch of recycled stuff. In fact, Th this logo, these logos look in hella lit, though. That I've never say. heard so much recycled audio before as, as I've heard in this game so far. I'm not kidding. It's, it's just Modern Warfare 2. Like, they just took a bunch of sounds and pasted, copied and pasted them. Whatever. Pretty much. First and foremost, enjoy this long intro. I, I can't skip it. I cannot skip it if my life depended on it. So I have to just sit here and watch these stupid studios' names pop up while loud droning music plays in my ear like I'm at. Dog, I they're like. Like 10 million studios that worked on it and these things you're telling me these things couldn't even make one new zombies map with a zombies crew like get on my bro get on my bro i don't know a funeral get or something like that and get, get, yeah get. so how did i get this game without paying for it well there's a few ways i don't oh, want to get damn. explicit with it because i could get in trouble but if you have the old modern warfare 3 disc from 2011 and you buy the new disc and it's on the same platform i, I think you can do some amazon shenanigans with that that's all I'm gonna say. You can figure it out. You're smart people. You know what to do. Uh, other than bro, I, I mean, wrong. wrong. I mean, people are smart. Not denying that. But bro, after you promoted this uh, retard helmet, nobody is smart anymore, bro. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. If you want your homies, your community to be smart, please don't promote that garbage. You know, like it's just lasers. It's just gonna retard it the society further, your community further. Just, just, just don't do that, bro. Like the video that, There's game sharing on, on PC at least, and then on Steam, I should say. Yeah. And on top of all that, there is just flat out piracy. You know? Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of ways to get the game. Mm, but guys, here's the thing, okay? Emergency meeting, emergency meeting. Do not pirate the game. Honestly, don't do it. Because there is DRM in this game though. And it's very hard to, because 99.999% of the time, a game that has DRM, it's not easy. Like three, four years from now, maybe you can like pirate the game, right? I'm not saying you should. I'm not saying you should it, okay? That's not what I'm saying. I'm just telling the risk factors because, bruh, like your PC might get hacked and they will see your history though. Oh shit! Yeah, oh, all the time that you search for, yeah, yeah, that, that's exactly what I'm talking about. All the time that you search for that content, bruh, I'm just, I'm talking about that, bro. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're gonna find out what type of bunda you are looking for, bruh. Like, Sara na janam putli tumari saamne aa jayegi pancho. Kutte deo bachyo, tu si dekhte ho na videos dekhte ho na. Sara, Sara, khul jayega. Eidam, khatam, fina ho gaya. Mar gaya, halak ho gaya, beda kharak ho gaya. Aisa ho na hai. Yeah, like the video if you understood, yes. For free on PC is all I'm gonna say. Uh, there's a site I was um, shown, and I'm not gonna explicitly state it again, but I'm sure a lovely commenter will comment on it and I'll heart it and you can look through the comments and see what site I'm talking about. Anywho, let's get into what I'm doing here. I, I just wanna show you how long it actually takes me to get into a match. When I put up Call of Duty, man, I've been playing these games for so long. 2007's when I started. Been playing these games for forever. I just want to get into the game. Just want to get into a match. Yeah, so there's this cool import legacy settings feature here. Why I can't use Vanguard or Modern Warfare or Roman numeral 2, I don't know. So I guess I'll just import my stuff from Black Ops Cold War. The only problem... I, I would say that's a very good feature, though. Like, importing your settings is kind of... Okay, it's kind of neat, but you better, you better tell us why he doesn't like it. Let's get into it. Is that it doesn't work. <laughs> it just does not work. You saw me, I think, change at a certain point my, my input settings to, like, controller only. It's gonna just erase that. Yeah. It's gonna get my my sensitivity settings wrong. That feature just doesn't work, and it's gonna mess up my my first match I actually load into, and you'll you'll see in a second. But anyway, I just want to show you how long it actually takes to get into all this stuff. And I'm kind of rushing through these settings here. I have never been so bombarded with pop-ups and useless text and other crap. Like it's getting to the point where after the install, which was over 100 gigs, I'm tired of waiting. I just want to jump in. I just want to jump in. Like Call of Duty is like fast and, food. Um, Imagine going to McDonald's and. So and apparently, if you do not have like the previous Modern Warfare 2 game, then it's gonna be too. <laughs> It's gonna be 234 gigs, bro. Like, kill bruh. me now, bro. I, bruh, 200, 234 gigs, 234 gigs for a game with less than three hours campaign, or let's just say three hour and 15 minutes campaign. Bruh. 16 old maps from Modern Warfare 2019. And no zombies map, and Warzone. Simple as that. Simple as that, bruh. Like, bruh, 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 bruh. bruh. 
some, I don't know, some neckbeard mulleted chef comes out and he's just like, oh, we, we, we were making you with a Big Mac. You know, that's a terrible French accent or whatever. <laughs> and they proceed to slowly make your Big Mac. And that wouldn't be that. We're making, well, we are uh, making your Big Mac, friend. Bad if it actually tasted way better Brother. than the shitty cold, you know, uh, flavorless meat patty Big Mac you usually get, but it just tastes the same. Or in some uh, cases worse. So uh, why do I gotta wait this long for all this garbage? You saw it back there, I did all that stuff, and then it's update requires restart. Why? Yeah, bro, at least make, like, at least make new menus, bro. Like, I know menus, it, menus does, menus aren't like end-all, be-all, but bruh, like, we've been looking at the same menu for years, though. So because I've been complaining, so because I've been saying that, bro, change your menu. It's hard to understand. You know it's a problem when there are dead ass videos of the Modern Warfare 2, 3, uh, not 3, 3 just came out but it will happen, but Modern Warfare 2 menus, there are dead ass videos on YouTube where suckers are making tutorial videos on how to navigate through the, the menu of Modern Warfare 2 uh, because suckers do not even know how to find a game, suckers don't even know how to go ahead find hardpoint or find like a particular setting because of how retarded the, the actual menu is and Activision likes to say we are just simplifying, we're just making it for our fan base because you know we, we, we like people when they're strong independent, we love our gamers when they're independent. No, none of your gamer are in independent anymore because this size is complicated for your strong independent gamers that you like to call toxic gamers. Why? I gotta wait on shaders to preload. Why? I have a beast PC. Why do I gotta wait on this? You know, I got a 4070 Ti. I got a 13900K. 64 gigs of RAM. Like, why do I gotta do this? M.2. M.2 SSD. Why do I have to wait on all this crap? The point because is- Because you are a toxic gamer. The point is, is I'm trying to like use, I'm trying to just like get used to this horrible UI, which they haven't changed from Modern Warfare 2. It's the same reject Hulu garbage with like weird yeah. vertical cards or whatever. Dog. So I'm trying to like navigate it. I think my controller's broken, but the issue is that I have to literally hit A every single time on these pop-ups <laughs> to learn how to use their confusing, stupid UI. When it could just be simple. It could just be a list and you don't have to have a tutorial to use the UI, but whatever. Yeah. So there we go. Oh Yo, that's exactly what I'm saying, bro. Like you, they're like making tutorials about the menu and getting like 100k views, bro. That that should tell you like how bad it is getting right now, bruh. But at the end of the day, bro, like if the gameplay is good, the gameplay is good. And the gameplay this time is actually good, but the content, I mean, multiple maps aside. And, and once the nostalgia runs out, bruh, that's when I guess uh, Sega's are gonna be able to think clearly. Once that post-net clarity hits, I feel like that that's when... Everybody's gonna have that genuine review because right now Sega's got uh, Sega's are in their feelings right now. Sega's are shaking. I uh, I accidentally hit that. My bad, guys. Bruh. Bruh. I accidentally hit that, but but you know we're gonna roll with it. But right now Suckers are in their feelings though. That's what I'm saying. Oh, the are emotional. Oh, here's more stuff I gotta read. Code of conduct. Whatever. I don't care. I'm not talking in this game because you you fuckers are gonna ban me for saying like <laughs> I don't know a fago yeah. grape soda or something because you misheard me. Okay, like no. And, and you know suplexing Josie cut as well. I'm not gonna yep. even talk. There's no point. Nobody plays this game that I know of anyway, so I don't have anyone to talk to. And if I do talk to them, it's gonna be over Discord. Oh, gonna... okay. I got a question though. Everybody gather on emergency meeting. Emergency meeting. So they got a lot of uh, operators here, right? Do they have? Let me look for it. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't think they have the friendly UAV online bundle yet, but they, they're probably gonna get it. Gonna use game chat. So anyway, again, I'm, I'm trying to just navigate through my stuff with LB and RB. I'm using controller on PC. Shaders okay. are still loading. Something pops up. I'm just trying to get into a match. So here we go. Finally, it's been five minutes, and I rushed, Damn. man. I rushed to get into this lobby. Are you Dog. bored watching this? Well, imagine how I feel playing it. Mm. It's 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 so slow. It's like Chinese water torture or whatever, but with Mountain Dew game fuel dripping like modern warfare. Damn, man, we really be living in first. <laughs> I get his point. I'm, I'm not gonna discredit it because, uh, because yeah, I mean, like, damn, right? Five minutes, five minutes. But, but I got to agree, bro. Like, it ain't that deep, though. But, but I do agree that it, it, it can be kind of deep. I mean, these are first world problems. Everybody clap it up, man. This is crazy, though. This is absolutely crazy. I do see his point being valid, but the point that I'm trying to make here is that, bruh, we really in a time where, shit, man, like, <laughs> you know, these seconds like, like be making mountains out of molehills, though. Fear three juice on my head. 
it takes so long. And you can say, this is just a one-time thing. Stop complaining. You boot it up, you, you set the settings, then you're done. Okay, fine. But if you think it's going to be that way all year, every new season, you're probably going to have to do something regarding like just sitting and waiting and, and not being able to skip a cutscene. Or, or mm -hmm. update requires restart probably all year long. That's probably going to be like a weekly thing, and that is if. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is if Sledgehammer doesn't immediately release this garbage and then go on vacation like they usually do. I mean, their vacation time is coming up right now. Oh, you know? my God. I mean, it's November the 10th. I mean, just give it like, uh, you know, four weeks. They better go on a big ass vacation, my brothers. They are gonna be. <laughs> they are gonna go on a big ass vacation. Regardless, brothers. regardless, I'm finally in a match. I'm finally in high rise. It's been over six minutes. You can see the Damn. YouTube time tracker, or whatever. It's been over six minutes. Crazy, Here we go. Man. Let's play, boys. Finally. Oh wait, I can't fucking move. My stick doesn't work. Those import settings from Black Ops Cold War. In Van Garbage, my brother was stuck, and right now he cannot even well, move. Damn. It doesn't work. <laughs> it does not Issues, work. It thinks though. I'm using a mouse. I'm pretty sure it showed earlier I set it to controller. I have never used a mouse and keyboard on Cold War, ever. So here we are. I can move my stick, but I can't move, like, my left stick, but I can't move my aim stick. Wrap your head around that one. So unfortunately, viewer, I have to leave. Sorry, um, I can't fix this in game. I have to back all the way out to actually get the mouse off. So that's a great, great setting. Uh, here we go, leave match. Call of Duty Gamer, ladies and gentlemen. These are our toxic gamers, bro. These are our toxic gamers, man. This joint crazy, though. This joint is crazy, but I gotta say, man, okay, for Blame Truth, man, in Urdu, I'm like, yeah, 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 it's a lot of fun, yeah. It's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun. You feel what I'm saying, guys? Yeah. So let's move Masle on to the next one. Now, here's the issue, here's the issue, and this, this is funny more shader pop-ups and stuff like that. This is really funny. I'm going to actually cut this out. I'm going to cut this part out because it's just uh -huh. me going through the UI, trying my hardest <laughs> to, like, navigate stuff because it's just confusing and, and awful. Bruh. Regardless, I'm going to cut a lot of that out. We're going to we're gonna fast forward. It's been over eight minutes, by the way. Yo, I want to see some Karachi gameplay and Wasteland gameplay, though. Yo, I have so far. I haven't seen gameplay. This is the first Call of Duty game I skipped. Um, and I'm not looking to buy it for at least two, three more months because in two, three months, if the game is good, and they, we got a lot of content. They're not dicking the fan base hard. Uh, we do not have that many. Uh, then I might actually get it, though. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But I want to see the gameplay of these maps, though. Wait, before I can even get into a match. So we're going to fast forward. We get to Karachi immediately. I am worried because Karachi is not a good map. It's not. My biggest complaint Bruh. with them rehashing Modern Warfare 2 maps in a game called Modern Warfare 3, aside from the fact okay. that they got, they got uh, I would be skipping this, boy. Wrong, is the fact that half of Modern Warfare 2 OG maps really aren't that good. I hate to break it to you. You can get mad. Damn, okay. I mean, we love complaining about everything. Bit, but I recorded most of it. it. Took me over nine minutes to get into this match here. We can finally play, right? Let me check the stick. Make sure everything's good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait. Nope. Something <laughs> else is wrong. Back to the menu. Let's go. Uh, unfortunately... It did not import my settings properly, as I stated before, and now Bumble I have to fix God. my stick sensitivity. It's at seven. I have never played on two sensitivity in my life. That's like old grandma, you know, with a pet sloth while she drinks frozen molasses. I mean, graphically speaking, it ain't that impressive, but it ain't that bad either, though. Tosca's real quick. I mean, it's it's Call of Duty graphics, right? Not not the best, not the worst. Uh, it's, uh, okay, it's okay. But gameplay, it, last time in the beta, it was looking amazing. I want to see how it looks. Though. Slow. I ain't playing on two. I play on seven. I've always played on seven. Looks like weapon motion blur is on as well. Okay, yeah, I gotta fine. turn off. Whatever. I'll fix it later. Brad, Brad, you can turn it off though. Like it ain't that deep. Yo, come on, blame through. Like, okay, the, you're dog. You're making mountains out of molehills. Even I gotta agree. Like, dog. Like, damn, bro. Like, the game's got problems. The game's definitely got problems. But, but bruh, like, you are making problems, more problems as you go, though. The, like, yeah, you can turn that off, dog. I agree that it shouldn't be on by default, but, but hey, man, you can disable it. You can disable it. You can actually do it, bro. I've, I've never turned that on. I always turn off those, like, boomer dad in front of their 60-inch TV settings, those visual settings and stuff wow. like that. And honestly, God knows what kind of <laughs> aim assist settings it gave me. Yeah, bro, you need a participation ribbon for that. We got it, homie. If I we had any it. at We're all, gonna give you that. a little harder than usual this match, and I, I don't know why. I, I played the beta, it didn't build this way, so who knows what it put me on. I'll have to fix it later. It's Toxic also possible gamer, it didn't bro. give me any aim assist, like I said earlier. <laughs> 
Uh, like, I just, it might just be off, you know? And there's gonna be some smooth brain that's gonna be like, Whoa, only losers use aim assist! If you don't use aim assist and you're playing on controller, you are doing nothing but nerfing yourself, and you are an idiot. You're a blithering, smooth brain, virgin moron. Get the fuck out of my comment section. Don't even think about commenting it, if you can even think a rational thought at all. Thank you. So let's discuss the audio first and foremost. I'm not sure if this is like a thing that's been happening the past several years because I pretty much immediately mute the audio. I didn't mute the audio this time because I thought that the import legacy settings thing uh -huh. would work. How naive I was. But uh, I'm not sure, guys, but the gameplay is looking kind of good. Oh my god! <laughs> there it goes. Muting the entire Blame Truth video with that statement. But honestly, bro, like, even I didn't buy the game. A lot of valid points, but there are a lot of points that he's making. I mean, damn, bro, like you trying to make mountains out of molehill, bruh. But let me know your thoughts. Click on this video on the screen because this man went crazy, bro. This man went crazy. Click on this video and I will see you right there.